Hi, I'm Christopher from Litcrace. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a lighthouse positioning system. This video is based on the tutorial on our web and you will find the link in the description below. To complete this tutorial you need a crazy fly, a lighthouse deck, two base stations, a crazy radio and a computer. First we have to upgrade the firmware in the crazy fly and the lighthouse deck. Start by mounting the deck on the Crazy Fly. Turn on the Crazy Fly. And then you connect to the Crazy Fly in the Python client. Open the bootloader dialog. The latest version is pre selected, and all you have to do is click program. Now the firmware will be written to the crazy fly and it takes a while. And then when that's done, the crazy fly restarts and it checks if there are any decks to be updated. In this case, the lighthouse deck is flashed with new firmware. After a second restart, everything is now updated and ready. The next step is to set the channels of the base stations to one and two. Connect the first base station with a USB cable. Open the Lighthouse tab in the client. If it's not visible, you have to enable it first in the View menu. Click the Set Base Station Channel button. Click the Scan Base Station button to find the base station. Make sure channel 1 is selected and then click the set channel button. The channel is now set in the first base station and we can switch to the second one. So move the cable to the other base station. Repeat the process for this base station but set the channel to 2 this time. Now we can mount the base stations in the flight space. Try to put them as high as possible to maximize the tracking volume. The final step is to configure the system with calibration and geometry data. Put the crazy fly on the floor where you want the origin of your coordinate system and turn it on. Connect the client to the crazy fly. The receiving boxes are now turning green when they receive light from the base stations. Wait for the calibration boxes to turn green. This indicates that the calibration data has been received. We will now measure the positions of the base stations. Click Manage Geometry and then Estimate Geometry. The measured positions of the base stations are shown. If they look OK, click the right to create supply button to store them. That's it. The system is now configured and ready for a test flight. It's a good idea to sanity check the positions of the base stations and the crazy fly in the 3D view before you take off. You might also want to pick up the crazy fly and move it around to see that everything looks okay. Open the flight control tab. In the right hand corner there are buttons to take off and control the crazy fly with simple commands. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. For more information, check out our web.